Good evening, it's Thursday night. Here's a thought to take us to prayer time together. Now, ministers are not known for their brevity. I think there's part of us that worries if we are too short that people might assume that we haven't put enough preparation into our sermons. I don't know. But tonight, I want to just give a very brief thought for us to take to prayer. We're having a little break from our series going through the Lord's Prayer. The reason is that there's an outbreak of coronavirus nearby in Granton on Spey. That will be uppermost in many of our minds as we pray together this evening. And I wanted to just give a thought to encourage those prayers. Deuteronomy chapter 31, uh, Moses is speaking to Joshua and he is encouraging him and giving him some promises. Joshua is about to succeed Moses as the leader of Israel and these promises will be ones that hold him and that sustain him when things get difficult. So chapter 31, verses 7 and 8, but we're thinking really about verse 8. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and courageous. For you shall go with this people into the land that the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them, and you shall put them in possession of it. And then verse 8. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Sometimes we have that sense of frustration that we don't understand specifically why God is allowing something to happen. We pray knowing what we would like to see happen. We would like to see something stopped. We would like to see any damage kept to a minimum. But we very rarely get the answer in this life for the specific reason why a particular thing, bad thing, has happened. But what we do have is this truth that God gives to Joshua through Moses and through Joshua and the scriptures he gives to us. And it is very simply this. Four words. God is in control. God is in control. It is the Lord who goes before you. He's never caught off guard. He's never, uh, circumstances never get away from him. He will go before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Consequence. Do not fear or be dismayed. God is in control. And that is a truth that permeates, that threads its way through, that is the umbrella which overarches our Christian faith, our Christian living and our prayers. So as we pray tonight, we know what we would like to see happen. We would like to see the coronavirus outbreak stopped, not just locally, but worldwide. But we pray knowing that God is in control and God will do the right thing. So let that truth inform your prayers this evening and give you confidence as we leave our petitions before the throne of grace. Because upon that throne sits the God who is in control.